What's happening, y'all? It's your boy, Wisco Madman, coming at you with another reaction video. We're catching up on the Ryan Upchurch vlog, uh, stuff. So, um, been playing catch-up for a little bit, if you haven't been watching me, and, uh, trying to get done with all the shit that Church has dropped in the past couple months here. Had to play catch-up, figured I'd do reaction videos, but, uh, I got... Little Miss Nala sitting next to me here, and um, if you guys haven't seen some of my past videos, I just make the uh, mention that over this past weekend, she did break her leg, and I'm still having her hang out next to me because I gotta take care of her all day while I'm doing these recordings anyway, and, you know, she's, uh, she's messed up in recovering, and if she makes a little bit of noise, I apologize for that. But, if you're interested in hearing the story behind her broken leg, you can go ahead and check out the video down below. I have a link to it in the description. And, uh, if you're interested in donating to help us pay the vet bills, there's a GoFundMe link down there as well. But, without further ado, let's just, uh, go ahead and jump up into this church vlog zero proof of Kylie Rodney situation being real. You know, because I know church's personality, I know he's probably, um, taking different angles at this situation, um, as well as I know he's into shrooms and some other things, so... I'm kind of curious on what perspective he's going with here. But I don't want to speculate on that title too much. Let's just go ahead and check it out. Look at all these illiterate, stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> all over the internet. <laughs> with their true crime channel. You hear that? Their true crime channel. You couldn't investigate the gate of an investor's house. You are like those dumbass puppies, you know? The ones that run around with their tongue hanging out of their mouth cross-eyed. Ah. You know, the puppy's cute, but it's still fucking stupid, you know? The government is... Nah, I ain't, I ain't cute, so he can't be talking about me. Watching this right now. And they're probably scared. Not scared of anything bad. They're uh, probably scared on... Clowning, bro. How unintelligent society is. Bro. I mean, look at y'all. And y'all's conspiracy theories. And all this shit. And you can tell that a lot of these true crime YouTubers, they've never thought for themselves in their entire life. The glare. That dude's never completed anything. I mean, look at him. He's in his basement wishing he was a hardy boy. Tony Dodge. Dude's fucking clueless. He's never been in a fight. He's never been in no drama. He's probably never been arrested. Nothing. He's vanilla. Sent him a showgun. Hell, I'm not even gonna say nothing about that dude. It is what it is. Let's let him live in his own little world. He loves Britney Spears and playing with action figures. Let's let him just keep thinking the world's all gumdrops and cotton candy. I'm cool <laughs> with that. We're now living in a society where it is okay to be stupid. I don't think it's ever okay to be stupid because stupid things might happen and to fix those stupid situations, it needs people who, you know, aren't stupid. Now, the people out there that don't like me and get irritated by me and stuff, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, well, why the fuck you think you're so smart? It's actually the problem. I don't think I'm smart at all. But I'm starting to feel smart. And a lot of older men and women have come. Dude, I can relate because um, the more you see in the world, the more you realize that even though you don't think you're smart, there's a lot of dumb people out there. I on my channel and listen, when an older person's talking, you just listen. And I've had... Yo, that that's one of the things I learned early on in my life is you can learn an awful lot from your elders. Learn from people who have more years living than you. Hundreds of older folks that's older than me be like, it's the common sense thing. Common sense. Now people who have common sense are now looking hella smart because the world is having less common sense every fucking year. While people that are in their 40s and 50s are commenting on my stuff, being like, hey, church. You know, the honest truth is, like, my common sense, I feel a lot of it's almost like an instinct. And it's amazing how few 
instincts people have. You know, how how they just can't... <laughs> Shit that should be natural for a human being just isn't. Just just don't even worry about it. They, they'll never understand, dude. Like, it, it's a common sense thing. I'm over here fucking, yeah, 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 trying to argue with them. Wham. I shut my mouth for two seconds and I learned something from them. I mean, they're right. They, if anything, they reminded me. What am I arguing with these other people for? The people I'm arguing with aren't smart enough to understand what's in front of their face. Literally, in front of their face. Yeah, the actual definition of literally. Not you really won't win jack shit. There's no trophy for winning an argument with a stupid person. Not using it every other sentence. <clears throat> Another comical thing is, is thinking you got me. Got me, what do you, what do you mean you got me? You're not bothering me. If you were bothering me, do you think I would go in depth for two weeks and make all these videos of different angles of scenarios of what possibly could have happened? Yeah, that's to figure out what happened. And look, I know why. And look, those of you that are mad that have true crime channels, I'd be mad too if I've been having a true crime channel for five years straight every day of my life and a damn musician just walks in smoking a joint, drinking chocolate milk and does more work than y'all in two weeks than you've done the entire time you've had your channel. It probably makes you not even want to do it anymore. And if I was y'all, I would quit doing true crime. I mean, how embarrassing. Your job is you get paid to not solve murders. Damn. <laughs> I mean, there's people that go to school to be private investigators who do all this stuff to build these skills in their head to be private investigators. And they get paid less than some fucking asshole YouTuber who sits on here and, and just points everyone in the wrong direction. That's fucked. And listen, don't even say, Bro. oh, well, you know, we're just reacting. No, no. Reactors react to movies and reactors react to songs. Do you see the chain of money going down the line? That is a service. A reactor who reacts to a song is making money off YouTube and he's also promoting the artist he's talking about to make them make money. You see how- Exactly, bro. Promotion, marketing, and uh, exposure. That's what I usually go with for entering in fucking disputes and shit on, on copyright. Now, do I always win disputes? No, not necessarily. But I'm not lying when I say that these artists can benefit from the promotion or exposure that they receive. Because that's the truth. Every little bit helps. How that helps people, helps put money in pockets <clears throat> that's supposed to be in pockets. Yeah, true crime people who don't know shit, they just yell a bunch of stuff and conspiracies and point at other people and go, look, they're on drugs, they don't know nothing. Your job is to be dumb for a living. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. Then you got the ones who actually do care and are actually trying to figure out something. Those are the ones you need to follow. That is plunder. You can figure out shit by watching her stuff because she only puts factual stuff on there. Zav girl. Zav girl, I, I sit here and watched her the other night for a freaking hour in the same little spot on Google Earth doing everything she could to find where this car was parked. It was an accident. Now remember, guys, because a lot of people... Are oh, okay, so this is... She's driving? I'm not. That's just... I'm, I think there's more likely that she did drive and it was an accident, but I'm still open to the foul play. So I just want to keep doubtful. See, she's open to suggestions. She doesn't close anything off unnecessarily. Yeah, Me and Zav yeah, girl obviously you. disagree on who drove the car. It's fine that we disagree, but us both being open-minded and able to communicate and talk about the situation to come to a conclusion, that's what solves stuff. Do you see yeah. me going, Zav, she's freaking wrong. No, 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 no. Yeah, you ain't, I mean, I'm guilty of arguing as well, but you really don't get nowhere being closed-minded and be like, nah, you're wrong, unless you have, like, some sort of proof. But when you're still trying to figure out what the fuck happened, like, let somebody go down a fucking rabbit hole. Let them explain their fucking storyline to you, where their hypotheticals go, and then maybe you guys can find some more evidence off that. No. Do you see her going, well, I mean, fucking, he must be on drugs. No, because she knows if you want to find the truth about something, you have to look at it at different aspects. You can't be biased to the situation. Another person that I like watching lately is uh, Behind the Wall. She sometimes says, she, I don't really agree with that, Church, 
But I'm gonna keep that an open mind and see what this leads to. Go for me thing, I, I think was weird at first till it, I think it got broke down a little bit better, but I'm still not sure. But I think it's interesting that it came out after he put it on his video. Now I'm just gonna say that, that uh, technically it wasn't a reward fund. These are the people I wanna watch because this I can find out more stuff that I maybe have wouldn't have thought about watching these people. I can't learn nothing from the ones in the beginning that I, I talked about. What, what, what are they going to ever do? You think they're, what, what are they going to go down for? Oh man, that glarer. <laughs> that fucking uh, Hiroshima ninja, or whatever the fuck his name is. You're going to have this channel the whole time and never figure out anything. Do you want like a round of applause at the end? I don't, what do you want? You're not doing nothing. Anyway, moving on with the video. There's two things I want to say. One, even criminals report <clears throat> crimes. And also... Sometimes when you question something and there is no answer, the answer is, there's no answer. Sometimes the victim looks so much like a victim and everyone is claiming that this is a victim that the people looking for who hurt the victim are going on a wild goose chase without looking at the victim. So with that being said, everyone telling me I should be ashamed of myself. How dare you say that, oh, this is faked. Show me that it's real. Show me proof of Kylie Rodney. Show me proof of Sammy Smith. Show me proof of Mag. Show me proof of those people. Show me proof of Ronnie. Why don't you try chasing down who Xanime is or Ikmel? You can't tell me who any of those people are. You're not gonna find shit. Now look, I do see the dumb people comments. I don't really comment back to them that much because they're dumb people. I see the comment where people's like, oh, what are you, Alex Jones? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? If you're, if you're asking me if I'm another person, the answer is no, I'm Ryan Upchurch. If you're asking me, is this a war on information? I'm gonna say yes, because misleading information is what is letting these people get away. <laughs> don't you see that? I mean, if you wanna sit in the comments and make Alex Jones jokes, I mean, go for it. You're welcome to do what you want in the comments. But here we're talking about facts. And the fact of the matter is, GoFundMe is a fucked up business to individuals who use it like fucked up people. Of course, GoFundMe is used for good reasons. You know, somebody in the neighborhood, their house burns down and uh, they can't afford it and they need a little bit of help getting back on their feet. Whatever, that's fine. But do you realize that you can be a millionaire on GoFundMe by catfishing people with internet deaths? You could do it fast as fuck. Look at the Kylie Rodney GoFundMe. It's made $63,000 in the past seven days. That's one GoFundMe for Kylie Rodney. If you have five GoFundMes for each individual person that you, you catfish fake a death with, all you need is three people. Three people, three viral stories. You're a millionaire in two weeks. Now that might raise red flags and there might be uh, discrepancies in you uh, getting your money but you see how I just said that and explained that? That will be taken and interpreted by people who are in on the scheme that are getting a cut of the money. I mean, why wouldn't they defend it? It's free money. It's free money. It gets the heat off of you because everybody's looking for a bullshit person that you made up. Because why? Because you pushed a car in the lake? Okay. Well, you didn't commit a real crime. So to the person that's doing it, it's, a, it's an internet crime. It'll be okay. And more than likely, they'll be getting away if everyone's led in the wrong direction. So in their mind, they're just finna get a bunch of free money in 60 days. You see, and this is... I guess the part that makes me wonder... Yeah, and obviously I understand this is all hypothetical, what he's going down the rabbit hole of hypothetical, but... Adventures with Purpose found a body in the back. And as far as I'm aware, that body was confirmed to have been... Kylie. There was an autopsy done on Kylie. So I guess I'm wondering how all those things can be true and this hypothetical still work. But maybe this video was before that shit happened. It wasn't before the AWP shit though, because I'm pretty sure he mentioned it. This is the part where people are like, how dare you accuse AWP of doing something like that? Oh. Did those words come out of my mouth? And, and of course... You know, it went right, right, right to the AWP thing next. So um, he's talking this being all these things are true, but potentially 
you know, he's just talking hypotheticals. He's not trying to disrespect nobody, which is what he's going into right now. They didn't. Why are you saying dumb, stupid shit that ain't real? But think about this. If you and your heart are going to look for a little girl and you drive all the way to this fucking town oh. and the police are like, hey, don't look over there. And you're like, mm -hmm, uh, okay. And you go look over there and uh, you dive underwater and you see a body in there. And if you've seen something that ain't right and you get out of the water and you're surrounded by all these fucking cops that just told you don't look in there. What are you going to do? How are you going to feel? You're probably going to be like, well, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. AWP knows that I put the Hellcat up. I ain't heard from them. AWP knows what I said if they didn't want the Hellcat, which I still am going to donate to them. We've contacted their managers and everything. We're not hearing nothing back, fam. What does that tell you? If they're good guys and, they're, and they don't want to take no one's, no one's compensation, what does that tell you? Look at the press conferences. Everything's fucked up for a reason. You have to put all those pieces together because what I just told you is the most plausible explanation that I could think of right now. If not, show me proof of the party. You know, that the party that actually existed. And, uh, I just want to point out that there is no pictures of the people that we're talking about at a party. I just got okay. to throw that out there. Okay, well, you, at least you, you, I, you know, I know for a fact that there was at least one party out there. Because, um, well, okay, so I have a video. Um, I do have a video of this uh, beautiful Hispanic party that was, like, right next to the site. And that's the video from the Snapchat. But are the actually in it or anybody that was talking about Kylie in it? Well, they're probably witnesses that are getting interviewed by the police. So, at this point right now, all we do is speculate. Um, until the facts come out, it's just like the same thing with the uh, Brian Laundry and Gabby Petita cases. So it's uh, right now we're just speculating, right? But once the facts comes out, um, we'll we'll but know who's either right or not. But you can't speculate that a party exists if there's nothing to speculate it to exist. But do you yeah. have proof that the party didn't exist? It doesn't matter if it doesn't exist; it didn't happen. You can't just make a party but, happen. But do you have proof? Yeah, I covered this when she said that shit before, but there's no such thing as, you know, uh, there's no such thing as proving a negative. You can't prove something didn't exist. You can only prove that it exists. You know what I mean? But that's kind of like proving yourself innocent. You never prove yourself innocent. Somebody tries to prove you guilty, and they find that they can't. That's about it. If there's no party, you don't. Hey, listen. If there's no party, you don't have to have proof of it not happening. You have to have proof of something happening. You don't have. You don't have to have proof of nothing happening. Right. Exactly. I want one single solitary <clears throat> two second video or or a picture of Kylie Rodney being at this party. Videoed at this party. Videoed with her friends. Picture with their friends at their school. Hell, give me a picture beside her car. The silver CRV. You can give me none of what I just asked for. It doesn't exist. If you, on the other side of the screen, think you're so smart and know every fucking thing, and I'm an idiot, and I, this should be so easy for me to figure out, go find what I just told you to find. And don't show me that bullshit video of Jagger. I've already found out that that's not real. Show me real proof of hmm. Kylie Rodney existing and Sammy Smith existing. And like I said, don't be like, oh, well, it's obviously a human. Yes, I know. Show me proof of these people with their names actually existing. It's easy, right? Okay, well then show me these things. Show me a picture of her beside her CRV. Show me of her making a video in it. 
Show me anything that indicates this is real. You can't. Because it ain't. It's a scam. Why do you think the cops ain't saying nothing? They're fucking embarrassed. Wouldn't you be embarrassed? If you just went on this big fucking search for somebody and nobody even looked into the person yet and they're like, oh. Trippy. Well, we kind of is looking for somebody that ain't real. Yeah, as a cop, you're not going to want to admit that. And that's all I got to say. Prove me wrong. Say what you want in the comments. It don't matter. If you're shit talking me and telling me I'm wrong, you have no common sense. We can't have a conversation anyways. So, there's the end of that. <laughs> now, I'm going to go back to, you know, my job of not being a private investigator. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I can't say he's wrong. I really, I really can't say he's fucking wrong, man. Can any of y'all say he's wrong? I don't have a picture. I don't have a video. I don't have a Facebook page. I don't have none of that. But it's pretty interesting uh, theory, and I would definitely have to look into it. I I can't speak on it because I, I don't fucking know, but what I can say is I can't prove him wrong. So per the open-mindedness rule here, it's very possible he's right. It could just be one hell of a big-ass scam. Wow. That would be one, one, one big fucking scam. That a whole lot of people are getting fooled on if that's the case. But, yeah, man. This has been your boy, Wisco Man, man. If y'all like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Help me out with the algorithm. Uh, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe notification bell to stay up to date with me. If you're on Rumble, go ahead and rumble that fist till your heart's content and hit that follow button. Um... Any of the platforms, you can throw me a comment, suggest some other material to check out, some other true crime stuff to check out, other songs, whatever you got for me, I'm down to check it out and react to it. About the only thing I've said no to at this point is some random independent film production shit that I didn't know what the fuck it was and really didn't seem all that interesting. But other than that, I'm down to check out just about anything. So uh, you can also... Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Clapper, and Facebook. But, as always, fuck Facebook. And, you know, this has been your boy, Wisco Madman, yet again. I appreciate y'all for watching. I appreciate any donations that I happen to receive for my dear old puppy dog. And, uh, yeah. Appreciate y'all watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.